Dear viewers, greetings. In this video, we are going to see about gelatin hydrolysis test. Aim. And the aim of the gelatin hydrolysis test is to determine the ability of an organism to produce proteolytic enzyme gelatinase that liquefy the gelatin. Uh, principle, uh, gelatin is a protein derived from the animal protein collagen and it is a component of uh, vertebrate connective tissue. Uh, it has been used as a solidifying agent in food for a long time. Uh, Robert Koch used neutron gelatin as an early type of solid growth medium. And gelatin dissolves in water at 50 degrees Celsius and exists as liquid above 25 degrees Celsius and solidifies or gels when cool below 25 degrees Celsius. In 1926, uh, Frazier described the very first method to detect the ability of the microorganisms to liquefy gelatin. Uh, in 1953, uh, Clark described a simple plate method using 10% leaf gelatin and mercury chloride HCl solution for the detection of gelatin liquefying bacteria and compare it with the gelatin start method and the Frazier's plate method. Uh, this comparison showed that hydrolysis of gelatin was generally uh, more accurate and rapid in the simplified plate method uh, than in the start method and Frazier's plate method uh, because the simplified plate method take uh, three days uh, for gelatin liquefaction and the uh, start method takes up to 14 days for liquefaction of gelatin and Frazier's uh, plate method takes up to four days. Uh, the plate test, uh, however, do not eliminate the use of uh, acidic mercury chloride to visualize the digestion of uh, gelatin. Uh, in 1955, uh, Green and Locks also uh, reported a quick method for the detection of uh, gelatin liquefying bacteria using uh, formalin denatured gelatin charcoal. Uh, in this method, uh, gelatin hydrolysis was observed when charcoal particles were liberated and settled to the bottom of the culture tube and this method was found to be quicker than the gelatin star method. And gelatin hydrolysis test is a great way to highlight proteolysis by bacteria and, and this gelatin hydrolysis test is used to detect the ability of an organism uh, to produce gelatinase that liquefy the protein gelatin. Uh, the hydrolysis of uh, gelatin indicates the presence of the proteolytic enzyme uh, gelatinase and this process uh, takes place in two sequential reaction. Uh, in the first reaction, uh, the gelatinase enzyme degrade the gelatin and converted and convert the gelatin to uh, polypeptides. Uh, this is the uh, first reaction. Uh, then uh, the polypeptides are further converted to uh, amino acids. This is the uh, second reaction. And the bacterial cells can uh, then take up these amino acids and uh, that can across that can cross the cell membrane and be utilized by the organisms. In first in the first step, gelatinase convert the gelatin to polypeptides. In the second step, gelatinase converts the polypeptides into amino acids. Uh, the gelatin hydrolysis test distinguishes the gelatin positive pathogenic Staphylococcus aureus from the gelatinase negative non pathogenic Staphylococcus uh, epidermis. Uh, Gram positive uh, spore forming rod shaped aerobic or anaerobic bacteria such as uh, Bacillus anthracis, uh, Bacillus cereus, uh, Bacillus subtilis, uh, Clostridium perfringens, and Clostridium tetani are also positive for the gelatin hydrolysis. Uh, the test can also be used to, to differentiate the genera of gelatinase producing bacteria such as Aeromonas hydrophila, uh, Flavobacterium species, Pseudomonas species, Cerecia species and Protea species from other members of the family Enterobacteriaceae. Uh, the materials required for the gelatin hydrolysis test are uh, test bacteria, uh, nutrient gelatin medium, inoculation loop, incubator and refrigerator. And next procedure, uh, inoculate an inoculum of uh, 18 to 24, 24 hours old test bacteria uh, by stabbing uh, 4 to 5 times about a half inch on the tube containing the nutrient gelatin medium. And 
uh, incubate the inoculate tubes along with an uninoculated medium at 37 degrees Celsius for up to two weeks and uh, remove the tubes daily for the daily from the incubator and place in ice bath or refrigerator at 4 degrees Celsius for uh, 15 to 30 minutes every day to check for gelatin, liquefi gelatin liquefaction. Uh, gelatin normally liquefies at uh, 20 degrees Celsius and above. Uh, so to confirm that liquefaction was uh, due to uh, gelatinous activity, and the tubes are immersed uh, in an ice bath or kept in refrigerator at 4 degrees Celsius. Uh, till the tubes to observe if gelatin has been hydrolyzed. Uh, finally, observation and results of gelatin hydrolysis are test. Uh, the positive gelatin hydrolysis test uh, shows a partial or complete liquefaction of the inoculated tubes at uh, 4 degrees Celsius. And the control tube remains uh, solidified even after exposure to the uh, cold temperature. Uh, in negative test, uh, at the end of the refrigeration, the control tube and the test tube both remains completely solidified. Uh, that's all about the gelatin hydrolysis test. Uh, dear viewers, thank you for your support. Thank you.